still damaged, still damaged from being dropped and, and, and because of it, you are literally just going through the motions now because the reconciliation has not happened and you are in a place where you desire to be in your rightful place in the kingdom, but there is still the evidence. There's, there's still the evidence and God told me to tell you today that if you desire the healing, it's in the house for you right now. Deliverance is in this house today. Listen at this. The Bible never makes mistakes. Nothing is in there haphazardly. And the Bible is always very specific. It talks about David it talks about Jonathan, and it talks about the Mephibosheth. Yes. Oh, help me preach this word. Yes. But when it talks about the person that dropped Mephibosheth, doesn't give him a name, doesn't give her a name. Uh, help me hear Holy Ghost. It said the nurse. We don't know whether it's Nurse Jackie. We don't know whether it's Sue, Sally, or Hakeem. All we know is that it was the person who was responsible for him. Help me here, Holy Ghost. So, so we find that the reason I deduce that there is no name given because it's not about the person. Some of you have taken your leader and you have become uh, an idol worshiper of the man.
what you got to understand. Some of you, this will impact you the rest of your life. Even after God brings a place of healing, even after he brings you to reconciliation and restoration, you will remember how this time felt for the rest of your life. And the next time you get a boyfriend, next time you get a girlfriend, next time you get a job or a house or a car, and it becomes the idol or the item of your worship. You need to remember that Mephibosheth was in the palace still laying. Still there. He had been restored to his rightful place. David, David remembered the promise. He remembered the promise that he made with the covenant that he had with Jonathan. And he was going out and he said, is there anybody still there? Yeah. God said, are you still here? Is there anybody still there? Church stuff. And meanwhile, we get abused, hurt, 
We disgusted, we're frustrated, we're upset. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So, so Mephibosheth did what came natural to him. And he went into his corner and he lived his life there. Guess what, y'all? For 15 years. God said, we're moving now. Come on here. God said that was a lesson that you needed to learn and get moving. We're not waiting 15 years to come out of the world. I'm going to be here for 15 years. We're going to have a big old church down the street somewhere. Oh, wait. 
Sunday. Yeah. 